Before I proceed, keep in mind the research we're about to review here was done in skin stem cell cultures. Now, also too, the research we're about to look at is looking at psoriasis in a totally new light, especially in regard to uh, stem cell dysregulation, which, as a twist, was corrected in cell cultures utilizing ascorbic acid and or vitamin C. So, with that in mind, that's going to raise many more questions than it's actually going to answer. However, though, it still gives great hope because if this research carries out, uh, and especially is replicated in living organisms such as people, then there's a potential of actually reversing the condition itself utilizing such treatments. With that in mind, let us begin into the research as follows. Insights in psoriasis is just a new treatment. Discovery implicates defective stem cell behavior as a possible cause of chronic skin disease. Investigators from Brigham and Women's Hospital and the Harvard Stem Cell Institute have uncovered a novel pathway that may explain why skin thickens in psoriasis and suggests new strategies for developing therapies for the condition. The team's results are published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology. Quote, Without understanding the mechanism underlying a disease, it is hard to find effective treatments. The question, quoting, we decided to pursue was, is there an epigenetic abnormality in psoriasis that may explain why stem cells are misbehaving? The researchers found a defect in the epigenetic covering that resulted in the loss of a DNA methylation hydroxymethylation mark known as loss of 5-HMC. The defect was found in cells from patients with psoriasis, but not other skin conditions that produce a similar skin thickening, such as callus-like areas from chronic irritation. The team then replicated the defect in a mouse model of psoriasis and found that it provincially affected genes that regulated the function of skin cells. Now, it's to be a little technical here, but at the same time, too, will give you insight on what the research led to to proceed as follows. The team has previously shown that 5-HMC loss in the skin epigenome can be reprogrammed using agents as fundamental as ascorbic acid, vitamin C. They reasoned that therapeutic correction of the epigenomic uh, genomic defect in psoriasis might, big word here, might reverse the entire process Based on experiments using skin stem cell cultures in the lab, the team presents promising preliminary data suggesting that 5-HMC levels can be restored to correct the deficiency seen in psoriasis. So we're actually, instead of breaking something to fix something, we're actually fixing something to fix something. To proceed as follows. The investigators note that while there is much interest in the role of vitamin C, additional research is needed to develop and test effective treatments and simply taking a vitamin supplement is likely to have little effect. I know it's gonna ask a lot of questions. Well, what's the vitamin C levels in psoriasis sufferers? Do they have a problem with metabolism, absorption, so on and so forth? But again, that runs the risk of adding publisher bias and we don't wanna do that when it could the research report clean. The team has begun work on the next research steps which involve three-dimensional bioprinting of skin stem cells, stem cells in the context of their supportive niches to test other epigenetic reprogramming agents. I'm going to go to the abstract right here uh, real fast. It's, it's highly technical, but the conclusion you'll understand to proceed as follows. In vitro restoration of 1011 translocation, TET methyl cytos cytosine deoxygenase expression by ascorbic acid was accomplished in cultured human ker uh, keratinocytes stem cells to show similar calcium ions induced differentiation resulting in increased 5-HMC or 5-hydroxymethylcytosine levels and reduced nesting expression. Quoting, to our knowledge, an epigenetic deficiency in psoriasis with relevance to stem cell dysregulation has not been previously reported. This observation raises the possibility that epigenetic modifiers that impact on the 5-HMC pathway may be a relevant approach or heretofore unappreciated therapeutic utility. Now to conclude with the general release. Quote, if successful, our epigenetic stem cell explanation for psoriasis hopefully could transform therapy, allowing for more personalized and targeted approaches directed at the very cells that accumulate to form the heartbreak, and it is heartbreak, I know a lot of people have psoriasis, 
horrendously torturous condition to basically um, live with. To proceed as follows. Uh, this all too often devastating skin condition. And if this can lead to hope as a possible reversal of psoriasis itself in many individuals, then so be it. Because if it can be done or utilized with such simple fundamental elements as vitamin C or ascorbic acid or even something similar to that, uh, in reverse the condition after the discovery of basically stem cell dysregulation, as far as something as simple as 5-HMC, that would be incredibly miraculous and a wonderful breakthrough in regard to medical science. As always, there will be links to the abstract. The full study is not published as yet, but still just the same. It is fascinating in regard to where it can lead and the many, many questions that will quickly follow. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off once again. Thank you very much for listening and look forward to see you all in seven days. And as always, thank you. Catch you next time. Bye.